Der Nominativ. Übungen. The Nominative. Practice. Now let's practice everything we've learned so far. And we will start with singular nouns with a definite article. So we've got computer, which is masculine, and the adjective schnell. How would you say the fast computer? Mm -hmm. Der schnelle Computer. Now, Kollegen, which is feminine, and neu. How do you say the new female colleague? Mm -hmm. Die neue Kollegen. And a neuter noun, Fenster and Often, window and open. How do you say the open window? Mm -hmm. Das offene Fenster. Das offene Fenster. So der, die and das are the articles and you just add an E to the adjective. Der schnelle Computer, die neue Kollegen, das offene Fenster. Now I want you to use them in a sentence. How do you say, the fast computer was expensive? Mm -hmm. Der schnelle Computer war teuer. The new female colleague works well. Die neue Kollegin arbeitet gut. And the open window is new. Das offene Fenster ist neu. Now let's take a look at the indefinite articles. We've got the same nouns, Computer, Kollegen und Fenster. How do you say a fast computer? Mm -hmm. Ein schneller Computer. A new colleague. Eine neue Kollegin. And an open window. Ein offenes Fenster. Yeah, so the articles are ein, eine and ein. And the adjective takes the endings of the definite articles. Ein schneller Computer, eine neue Kollegin und ein offenes Fenster. Now let's put them in sentences again. So how do you say, this is a fast computer. And let's add, the fast computer was expensive. This is a fast computer. The fast computer was expensive. Yeah, das ist ein schneller Computer. Der schnelle Computer war teuer. How do you say, this is a new colleague. The new colleague works well. Das ist eine neue Kollegin. Die neue Kollegin arbeitet gut. And now, this is an open window. The open window is new. Das ist ein offenes Fenster. 
Das offene Fenster ist neu. Now let's take a look at the definite plural forms. And we will start with Vogel in the singular and Vögel in the plural. Vogel means bird and it's masculine. And klein. So how do you say the small birds? Mm -hmm. Die kleinen Vögel. For feminine we've got Karte in the singular and Karten in the plural. The card. How do you say it? The good cards. Mm -hmm. Die guten Karten and Buch, book in the singular and Bücher in the plural and alt. How do you say the old books? Die alten Bücher. Yeah, so the article is always die and the adjective takes the ending en. Die kleinen Vögel die guten Karten und die alten Bücher. How do you say in a sentence the small birds are hungry? Mm -hmm. Die kleinen Vögel haben Hunger. And the good cards are lying there. Mm -hmm. Die guten Karten liegen dort. And the old books are interesting. Die alten Bücher sind interessant. And now the indefinite plural forms again with the same nouns. How do you say small birds? Kleine Vögel and good cards. Mm -hmm. Gute Karten and old books. Mm -hmm. Alte Bücher. So just like in English, you have no article for the indefinite plural and the adjective takes the ending E. Now let's put them in sentences. How do you say these are small birds and the small birds are hungry? Mm -hmm. Das sind kleine Vögel. Die kleinen Vögel haben Hunger. Das sind kleine Vögel. Die kleinen Vögel haben Hunger. These are good cards. The good cards are lying there. Das sind gute Karten. Die guten Karten liegen dort. Das sind gute Karten. Die guten Karten liegen dort. These are old books. The old books are interesting. Das sind alte Bücher. Die alten Bücher sind interessant. Das sind alte Bücher. Die alten Bücher sind interessant. Good. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and sign up for my comprehensive and clearly structured German video course on germantogo.com. Danke!